since I was about to start my video. They want to start. I'll try back later. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd. I actually started a video yesterday, but it started to rain. I was actually outside on my back porch, and I was just wanting to document my third day of unemployment. Um, as many of you may know, the 17th, which was Friday, was my last day with my um, company due to a rift in structure change. So, but with that came a, a access to a transitioning company that helps with getting you placed at a new, in a new position someplace else. They help with pretty much everything. You get a coach and everything. So I set that up yesterday. So the past two days, I've just been really busy with, um, like setting up my LinkedIn, my resume, Sending, I've sent out a, a few resumes out. Uh, I actually had a, um, a second interview with the hospital yesterday. And it went well, but it feels as though it'll be similar to um, what I've come from the last two, in my last two positions, which were RCM departments that are in bad shape. And because of my experience and education and blah 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 i think my husband pointed this out last night to me which i didn't even consider that he i was telling him about the position and i had actually met with three of the peers three of the other managers who um had a portion of the business they would be the peers of the person who would be in that position and we were, i was going around after they asked me questions of course i have my own and then i realized that after speaking to them the person taking that position would have the bulk of the business. Each of them had about 10 to 12 FTEs. Um, whereas that particular position, it was 36 with two leads. <sighs> mm, I j it just, it's, it's, scre it's just screaming problems. They had a hiring freeze for some time, which had been lifted recently, which meant that they were down seven people. And whoever takes this position has to hire seven new people. And I just, it was a turn off, like, to be honest. <laughs> you know, it's good, The you know, benefits, money-wise, all of that is good. And um, yeah, like, like I was saying, I was talking to my husband about it, and he was like, you know, he said, it seems like people view, see your experience, your resume and all these things and your prior experience, and they see you as a fixer, someone to come in, analyze, and this is me talking now, but he said, they see you as a fixer because I'm good at analyzing data, um, res resolving issues, providing solutions, but I'm kind of like burnout from that. I'm not kind of like burnout. I am burnout from that. And I just don't want to get in that space again. I love a challenge, but... It just seems like it's going to be a lot. And not that I'm afraid of a lot, but I'm not saying I have to go into a perfect situation, but I need to go into one that is not already suffering. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is my third day of unemployment. Oh, and Monday I spent my time going through Georgia's unemployment website, um, filling that out. Which I don't even know how I feel about that because, number one, I don't know how much it's going to be, but I know it's nickels and dimes, child. Thank God for severance pay and things of that nature. So I'm so thankful for that. But I just think about so many people who don't get that, you know? Ooh. A lot of people don't and haven't, but I'm thankful for it. Um, Yeah. But yeah, I'm hanging on in here, ladies and gentlemen. Today I went 
and did a little teeny tiny bit of thrifting. Not much. I ain't really doing that. Um, I keep breaking my wine glasses. So I just started thrifting them, yeah. Thrifting them, y'all, because I don't care that they don't all match. <laughs> I don't care about that. But um, yeah, I'd rather pay $99 and buy a set and breaking them within days. So yeah, so when I got some wine glasses, but then I needed to go make some, well, shop for meat because I have a lot of other things in already here, but we're running out of meat. And I try not to buy more meat until I use all that we have. And we were pretty much down to nothing. So, I, um, yeah, went in, went to Sam's and filled up on books of meat and got all of that and bought some wine. Um, just one bottle though. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Also, you all, if you haven't, I'm going to, I'm going to, I keep telling you, I'm going to put the link down here and I never do, but I do have another channel and it is my, um, it used to be my, my eating channel, mukbangs and things of that nature, but it's more of my travel cooking and the restaurants that I love to try out. So if you haven't already, some of you are already members or subscribers, go on over there and subscribe to that channel as well. And, um. I really, I'm going to come back at some point. I will probably, um, and another thing I want to discuss, affirmations. Do you all believe in affirmations? Do you all practice affirmations? I do, and I started. And I think I mentioned this before, but you should try it. And it was one that I ran across today in on TikTok that I felt was a good one because positive talk to yourself is what really changes your aspect on things. And places positive, good things in your life versus negative talk. You know, we've all been guilty of it at some point. I have, you know, I have been really trying to be positive in my thoughts. And even in the season that I'm in right now of uncertainty, because I've never been here before. But everybody has to have their turn, right? Who am I to think that I mean, you know, should be exempt. But I'm thankful that God has... It's blessing me, have blessed me for all of these years. So I'm thankful. It's also giving me a time to reset because I feel like every, I've just been running like nonstop. When my mom passed away. Y'all know when she passed away. Um, two weeks after she passed away, I started this position with this company. I really didn't have, and I'm not saying that I, I wanted time to sit around, but there was days where I literally had to pull myself out of bed and I had to go, I went to work. Um, my work has always been um, an, an out for me. It's an avenue for me not to think about whatever's going on. And losing my mom was, it was traumatic, <laughs> to say the least, man. I still miss my mom. You know, I think sometimes people say, you know, as the time goes on, it gets easier, but it doesn't. It doesn't get easier. People are lying. I'm not saying that certain people that you lose in your life, that, you know, as it get older, as days go by, it gets a little bit better. Or, I can't even say better, but it, it doesn't hurt as much. But with my mom, the longer that she's been, I haven't been able to be with her. The worst that it is for me. I still miss my I miss my mother. I'm not going to say I still miss I will always miss her. I will always want to hear her voice. I just always want to, I want my mom. And I'm just going to leave it at that because every time I try to talk about my mom, child, the tears will run. And I'm not trying to have that today. And plus, my husband watches every one of my videos. Hey, sweet thing. <laughs> he watches every video. Y'all, and I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I really need to wear, um, oh, what is it? Um, uh, sunscreen. I think I'm going to Target and try that black girl sunscreen because it doesn't leave a film but my i live in the south where it's highly sunny and i have suffered in in the fact that i didn't wear sunscreen in my it's discolorations but in the summer i'm one tone yes because i go ahead and get all of this darkened up but i need to really start wearing my sunscreen and i'm looking in the mirror and i look like my dad <laughs> Not in the mirror, but in the camera.
But from here, I look like my dad. All up in here. Eat your purpose. But yeah, y'all, positive affirmations. Y'all know I be all over the place. So make sure you practice those and have positive self-talk. Talk nicely to yourself. And I'm going to put that um, video that I saw in this video. Okay? I want you to watch it. Also, this week on my to-do list is to complete my eBay store. Y'all, I really do love thrifting. And I am fascinated with glass. Like, I love glass. I love, I just love it. I love to look at it. And I'm always looking for vintage gla glass. And um, I'm going to pop my eBay store there. Tomorrow I am going to... Um, tomorrow's Thursday. I have a dental appointment. And then at 3 o'clock today, I have a web... Oh, shoot. Let me go. I got a webinar that I'm supposed to be on. <clears throat> Bye, y'all. A hundred times a day, my name is Glenda Baker and only good things happen to me. That is a mantra. That is a mantra to live by. I'm telling you, last night I go to the botanical gardens, I'm driving into the garage. My name is Glenda Baker and I'm going to get a great parking space. Three spaces from the elevator. And that self-talk is so critical for success. When I was first separated for so long, I thought I was so stupid. I was so stupid. I was so stupid. And I was telling myself that. And I was putting all that negativity in my head. Stop saying that to yourself. And so now I literally just say, my name is Glenda Baker. 